It is officially spring 2024, so that means I can share with you all my top 10, yes, 10 fragrances for winter 2023 going into 2024. And I'm excited about this list. And a lot of these will not shock you because I've been talking about a lot of these for a while now. And the good thing is the majority of these fragrances have full dedicated reviews already up. So let's get on into it, y'all. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. These and Maria here. Yes, we're doing this top 10 list. I know you all like a good list, a good countdown. But as always, before we get into that information, lipstick of the day today, everyone. I decided to go in with a peachy nude type of color because that's how I'm feeling. So this is MAC Taste Me. I think this was limited edition, so I will try to link it if I can. But if not, I will include an alternative color in the description box below, as well as the whole details on the face because I know you all enjoy that. <laughs> Next up, we have Fragrance of the Day, everyone. I know you all like this one because this one is like a masterpiece in the fragrance community. I know I'm enjoying it because it was hot today. And this is from Zerzhoff and this is Herba Pura. This is the king of the fruity and musk combo situation to me. And it's just that one. It's that boy. It's that girl. It's whatever you want it to be because it's everything. And I'm enjoying Zerzhoff's Over Pura all over again. <laughs> so, all right, without further ado, let's get on into this list. In the number 10 spot, this is a fragrance that was an unexpected love because this one came as a gift in another package that I got with other fragrances. And this one... Wow, it kind of stole the show. And this is from Clean Classic, and this is Clean Classic Nordic Light. Now, I will go through the full note breakdown on this one because I've never fully extensively talked about it here on the channel. So it deserves some shine. So Clean Classic Nordic Light. Mm, it's so good. We have bergamot, we have mandarin, we have orange at the top, and then we have middle notes of vanilla orchid, lily, and magnolia, and then base notes we have our musk, sandalwood, and praline. This is a musk and praline scent to me. If you want a scent that smells like you but better, but also projects like you just took a fresh clean shower and you want a musky type of scent, this is for you. That's when I found myself reaching for particular in the winter nights and I've been really enjoying Nordic Like. I got it in like the spring summertime. To me, this scent shined once the temperatures cooled down and it's been a joy and I'm still reaching for it actually. So in the number 10 spot, this is from Clean Classic and this is Nordic Light. In the number nine spot, this one blew up when it sold out because it dropped back in January and the girls went crazy for it. Very happy about this one. This is from Sniff. The number nine spot goes to Sniff Vanilla Vice. The full dedicated review is already up on the channel for this one so you don't have to look for it. So I won't go as in depth with this one. But in a nutshell, this smells like vanilla ice cream. That's what it is. That's how it was advertised to me. That is what I got on my skin creamy vanilla ice cream that's kind of light but with a woody base this was like a fun cozy scent very casual easy reach type of vanilla so i enjoyed this one and yeah it was right on time because again it came out in january which is like smack dab dead in the middle of winter so yeah this one was a release that made sense and right on time this is from again sniff and this is vanilla vice in the number nine spot in the number eight spot we have from tiziana terenzi and this is a oh, top trying to come off this is Deluxe. Yes, Tiziana Terenzi's Deluxe. I recently did the full dedicated review on this fragrance as well, so definitely check it out for more information. But Deluxe, this right here is rose coffee and honey is what this is. This is beautiful. This is definitely a more dressier scent for me. I found myself reaching for it on those days. I wanted to be a little bit more oomph, a little bit more jazzed up, and I really enjoyed Deluxe. I've had it in my collection, I wanna say over two years at this point, one of the first Disney on Terenzis I sampled and tried, and I was really feeling this one, and I'm still enjoying it years later. So this one is definitely a cold weather beauty in my opinion. That's when it really shines. You can wear it in the spring because of the rose note, but it really, really shines in that cold weather again in the winter time, so that again, is Tiziana Terenzi's Deluxe, and that is in the number eight spot. In the number seven spot, we have Parfums de Marley. I'll tear you all, I'll tear you all. The dedicated review to this one should be up by now, but if not, it's coming soon, just know that. This scent, it came out for the men in fall of 2023, but let me tell you something, do not let the packaging fool you. This is for everybody. This is unisex for sure. This is an orange blossom, bourbon vanilla, cardamom, praline type of a scent. It is gorgeous, and it looks like the bottle. They picked the perfect color for this. this was was beautiful it was a fall staple but i kept reaching for it fall going into winter as well so that is why it made the list this was an october purchase for me so naturally i kept on wearing it you know past october it's just really shined you know it's like a spiced vanilla scent but it's sweet and that's why i really enjoy it and it's the sweetness of it in my opinion and what makes it more unisex not just masculine even though again it's in the masculine line from parfums de marley but i really enjoy parfums de marley altair and it made the number seven spot y'all the number six spot has shocked me but actually i can't 
it reaching for it so it does make sense number six you all it goes to killian's love don't be shy yes love don't be shy full dedicated review on this one is also up i put it up of course around february around valentine's day so definitely check that out but this is sweet orange blossom and marshmallow is what this is. And there's also like some caramel in here. This is stupid sweet and I love it. I love it. At first I thought it was juvenile, but it really did take the winter season and a few years for me to, you know, to finally let my biases go on it. This one was a slow burn for sure. I now love this scent. I get the hype. This one blew up for a reason. I'm now on the hype train for it. I get it. I do. I keep reaching for it and it brings me so much joy. So that is why Killian's Love Don't Be Shy made the list at the number six spot. Okay, y'all, now we're in the top five fragrances, and this is when it got really hard to figure out because, ooh, it's challenging to get this list. But alas, in the number five spot, you all, we have from House of Amouage. And this is Amouage Overture Woman. This one should not be a shock to any of you all because if you remember when I got a sample of this one, I told you all, this one blew me away. Love it for a sniff. This one was special occasion where this one was. When I did take it on a trip with me for a special occasion, absolutely. This scent is amazing to me because it's a apple saffron with a boozy base type of scent. It is a powerhouse. It projects. You can't wear this scent when you're trying to feel like, you know, chill, not trying to cause any ruckus, get no attention. No, this fragrance commands attention and you're going to get it in this one. So that's why this one for special occasions was a certified hit and I really enjoyed it so much. But I'm going to just Overture Woman was in the number five spot. In the number four spot, you all, this one. It won me over because I wasn't feeling it when I first sampled it, but now we are here. I'm all in love with it, y'all. And this is from the house of Tamin, and this is Peregrina. Yes, Peregrina makes the number four spot, y'all. Mm. This is Rose. This is like Lily of the Valley. There's myrrh. There's like caramel in here. This is an interesting rose. It's a gourmand rose with depth. It has a lot of personality. And it definitely took the cold weather and wearing it on skin for it to open up. And I was like, oh. Now I see why this scent got hyped up. I get it 100%. I am now a part of the Peregrina hype train. It is that girl. Definitely became a date night staple for me. De this got reached for a lot on weekends in particular. I'm still reaching for it. So this is a scent that yes, it became a love in the winter time, but I will continue to wear it into spring. So I'm telling you right now. <laughs> and I actually took it with me for spring break. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's still it's still going strong in my book. But in this case, it made the number four spot you all. And this is again, Tamin's Peregrina. In the number three spot, this was one, this was a star. I told y'all this was a love at first new fragrance and the full dedicated review is already up. This is from the house of BDK, you all. And this is BDK's Passe Soir, the X straight version. You all remember when I first sampled this back in July and I told y'all I'm going to get a full bottle of it and I did. Mm. This is for everybody that loved the original Passe Soir, but you want it to be a little bit more richer, a little bit longer lasting. And they listened because that is exactly what this is. It's richer, thicker and darker and I'm enjoying it. It is a true X-ray version. <sighs> My poor original one, I barely reach for it <laughs> now because I have this one because like y'all, it has the quince note, the pear, the ginger, there's patchouli in here. It is just amazing. And this was a crowd pleaser too. I wore it around Christmas a lot and I, I really was pleased with the BDK Passe Soir y'all. And that is why it made the number three spot, like for sure. Uh, it almost went higher, but yeah, the other fragrances I have, I like them just a little bit more than this one. So yes, BDK's Passe Soir was in the number three spot. In the number two spot, y'all, if you've been with me at least in the last six months, you know i've been talking about this scene ever since i got it this is from andrea mack and the number two spot goes to andrea mack's pavilion this is a part of her extra de parfum line and y'all it delivers the base of this is a rose and oud combination which you know like okay we smell that a lot everybody got a rose and oud but no they added vanilla and they added honey and they added like praline to this wow it works it works it works this is so rich i've taken it with me on trips i wanted to events y'all this is good and i'm happy to see that more people are talking about andrea max pavilion because this scent deserves to be talked about more it deserves to shine and in fact the brand deserves more shine which i'm happy to see again more people are talking about it and spoiler alert i'm seeing that the new scent they came out with jess i'm intrigued by it the notes look good and i do plan to get my nose on it so i will have an opinion on it I hopefully hopefully sooner rather than later once i get my hands on a sample of jess but for now, Andrea Max Pavilion makes the number two spot for this winter list and I'm still enjoying it and I'm probably still gonna keep wearing it until it just gets ridiculously hot outside. <laughs> and then finally, we are at the number one spot. I know y'all like, okay, what's number one? <sighs> 
well, there's one scent that just stole the show and I got it like right before winter hit and it just it just was the girl it was the one and the number one scent y'all is this right here Guerlain's Tobacco Honey. A lot of y'all probably already knew that though because how much I kept talking about it I kept wearing it but Tobacco Honey she stole the show. I already have the full dedicated review up on the channel as well. So definitely check out Tobacco Honey. Y'all, literally as the name says, this is tobacco, but this is honey. The honey is the most prominent note in my opinion. The tobacco is secondary. And I love that the honey is so realistic. It's thick, it's globby. I just feel like the whole beehive is in here with me right now whenever I wear this. And this one shuts it down mega compliment getter this was a hit during the winter time people have asked questions about it people have asked me about it my mom even got a sample of it out of me uh, you know it's mama it's kind of hard to tell her no but alas this right here galan's tobacco honey was the number one scent for winter and ooh, this is one i will be putting up because it's such a beast in my opinion it just knocks my socks off and once it gets warm here in tennessee that's it but who you did what you need to do and again, that is Guerlain's Tobacco Honey in the number one spot. So, all right, everyone, that is my list of top 10 fragrances for winter 2023 going into 2024. Let me know what you think about my list. Are some of your favorites for the winter time also seen in this video? Can you share with me some of your favorites? Let me know in the comments below because I know y'all are peeing at it. Y'all gonna tell me anyway. <laughs> And I do read your comments and I respond when I can, but let me know what you think of the list and most importantly, what were you wearing the most? What brought you the most joy in the winter time? Let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.